Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I have hundreds of videos that I think you enjoy and will be useful to you uh, of all different makes and models. So if you could, go ahead and subscribe now. All right. Now, I am at Sparks Toyota in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to show off this 2015 Toyota Yaris. And right off the bat, I just want to let you know, full disclosure, I am a sucker for small cars. So, <laughs> this is a really neat little car that I'm excited about. And it's a, it's a very simple design car. It's not a, you know, elaborate, like an Avalon or anything like that. But this is a really good, uh, comes in at a pretty good price and great fuel efficiency. It's a Toyota, so uh, it's going to, you know, hold its value for, for very well and last you a long time so let's go ahead and check it out so this one does have the steel wheels and with the hubcaps which is you know not a big deal for me but you know some people uh, you know I, th I think it's fine I mean there's nothing wrong with hubcaps but it is a two-door but it does have back seats so you do have the capacity to you know add some back seat drivers if you need to and you can see the front the doors really good size it's actually bigger than the door on my car but anyways um, let's take a look here in the front it does have the reflector halogen headlights and a really cool sporty catch your eye front end I mean you see that coming down the road you're like man what is that a really fun fun looking to me anyways like I said I'm I like the small car thing but all right, so let's take a look over here. I'm gonna show you the, the window sticker since it's not much of a glare right now. It's rated at 36 on the highway. That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put some inf all that information in the description anyway. But here's the inside of the passenger side door. You can see it's black. It does have some uh, cloth soft to the touch stuff going on here this is very soft there's some hard plastic everywhere else and there's a bottle holder there place to put little things in that that handle there yeah the manual adjustments on the on the seats they are cloth and it does have a, a pattern there on the very front of the seat and the top of the back of the seat pretty decent bolstering and the seats are actually pretty darn comfortable and they are a decent ways off the floor so your knees are not sticking up in the air and on this side we have these little real quick access pockets here I guess you can put like a um, you know your keys or your phone or whatever in there and then your glove compartments pretty standard size but you would expect it to be smaller for a vehicle this size and let's check out the back seats let's go ahead and move this seat out of the way so there's the back seats. That seat is all the way back, so they give you an idea of the leg room. You do have some speakers back there, and it looks like you can fit three fairly small people, I guess, not anybody my size, in the back. So you have a headrest for three. You have the cup holder back there. And the seats will fold down, which I'll show you. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you now. You can do this from the back or in here. See, it folds down like that. So let's take a look at the back and see what the cargo capacity is with the seat folded down. Put this seat back like that. So here's the back. Got the little windshield wiper there. And the backup light there in the center. And to open the back, once the doors are unlocked, you just push a little button just under the Toyota sign. And it has this little shade uh, that you can, it's a removable shade if you want to remove it, but it kind of pops up out of the way. And so here you go, it gives you a pretty good amount of cargo capacity when you don't have a back seats, people in the back seats. And this lifts up, you do have a spare tire. That's one thing you want to check on when you're looking at vehicles. Some vehicles are offered without a spare tire, so I don't know if you know that or not. 
but you definitely want to know it before you buy the car or at least after you buy the car so you know to get one or be prepared in case you go on a trip or something like that all right and it's interesting uh, this vehicle is the, the engine and transmission is from Japan but it's assembled in France so that's interesting all right so let's go ahead and look in the gas cap the gas uh, door is on the driver's side which is always convenient and that's my preference let's take a look in here all right so there you go you have a um, just a regular fuel cap uh, that's removable now it is tethered by this string here and it does have a little place for the string to hang on so when you remove the cap you don't have to just let it hang down and scratch your paint you do actually have a little spot there to hang it just got to remember to use it that's all <laughs> all right let's take a look under the hood and look at the 1.5 liter four cylinder hopefully it's not too covered up with plastic I'd like to see the engine all right so let's reach in here it's a little bit there to the right of the Toyota symbol right in here move it to the left there's the latch and there is the 1.5 liter it's a little bit covered with the plastic, but you can get to see a little bit of the engine, so that's cool. 1.5 liter, it does have the VVTi system, and if you're not really familiar with that, it's a little bit of complicated. It basically, I do have a video on it, by the way, if you want to look it up, uh, what is the VVT, but it gives you a better gas mileage with performance when you need it. It gives you a little bit more performance because it's able to, uh, VVT stands for variable valve timing, so it can adjust the timing of the valves on the fly, you know, right in that nanosecond of you driving, you can get more performance, or when you're just normally driving easy, it'll give you the best fuel economy. All right, so let's take a look in the inside. All right, here we are on the inside, and plenty of leg room, knee room. It's surprisingly roomy, I mean, I mean, of course, when you put the back seat all the way back, it's, you know, not so roomy for the back seat drivers, but, hey, it's, um, it's all about the driver, right? So, just looking at it, it is a, this is not a bells and whistles vehicle. So, if somebody, a lot of people complain, they say, I don't like all the bells and whistles. Well, here it is. Here's a vehicle without all the bells and whistles. So, let's go ahead and start here on the driver's door. You got the little pocket you say you have the same storage pockets there on the door you get you have power windows the door lock controls are here you can lock out the other power the other power window if you need to right there you do have a dimmer switch for the interior lights you can make them brighter or dimmer there you got a storage pocket down here for putting some change or whatever and this is really cool there's a pocket up here I'm gonna go ahead and throw my cell phone in there so you can see really cool place to put something and the best thing about it is if you put your cell phone or whatever there and it's kind of like you know just right there you're not going to forget to get it when you get out because it's right there as you're getting out you see it and like oh okay i need to grab that your wallet or you know that's a really cool spot and uh so i don't know like my phone's a little bit big but it still fits in there pretty good so that's a pretty neat pocket so let's take a look at the, the steering wheel. The steering wheel has absolutely no buttons except for the horn, Beep. but it is uh, just say like a synthetic, soft synthetic, pretty comfortable steering wheel. And it does have some texturing so that kind of simulates leather, I guess. Uh, I guess that's what it, it's supposed to go for. But, you know, just kind of, you know, when you push it, it does give a little bit so it's comfortable. And it does have your bolsterings and everything. But really, I mean, it's it's very functional and it is a tilt steering wheel. So I can tilt it up and down. It does not telescope, but it does tilt. All right, so over here we have the um, your headlight controls. And you can turn them on, your parking lights, your daytime running lights. Or you can just have it off like that. 
and your windshield uh, windshield wipers are controlled on the right side and here's your gauges like I said very minimalistic not a lot of you know stuff to get in the way or confuse you speedometer is the main focus and then your gas gauge there to the right now you do have your clock outside temperature there's the amount of miles the vehicle has but you can push this and it cycles through you have a trip A, a trip B, and there is your miles per gallon uh, in real time as you're driving, and then your average miles per gallon, and then your range with the given fuel that you have. Average miles per hour as well, and then it goes back to odometer. So really, you know, gives you what you need to look at. If you need some more information, you can cycle through it there. But it's just, um, you know, if you want to have a simple, easy-going ride, uh, it's, you know, pretty much usually for mostly city driving or something like that. I, this is not the type of vehicle I'd want to go on a cross-country trip with. But it is a, you know, just like a simple vehicle that's transportation, is reliable, it's, um, you know, fuel efficient, all that good stuff. So this is a really good option for people looking for that kind of vehicle. And, you know, I hear I used to sell cars and I used to hear a lot of people say, complain about too much bells and whistles. So, you know, here this would be an option for them. Okay, so here is the radio, which looks pretty fancy because it is a touch screen. You, there's your four-way flashers there. But this radio is pretty easy to use because you have your volume button on this side tune through the stations on that side you do have a CD player for the retro and uh, you know you can push audio and you can it shows you your different audio uh, audio choices so AM FM and you do have Bluetooth capability to where you can connect a Bluetooth device and play music through there and it does have HD radio where it's available so that's pretty cool all right um, you can also add a cell phone, Bluetooth cell phone, and use that. That's a feature that um, you know, a lot of people consider a bell, bells and whistles. I think it's a huge safety feature, and I think every car should have it. So I um, highly recommend having a Bluetooth system to where you can make and receive calls uh, just basically without even, um, you know, you can be talking down the road and talking to people while you're driving down the road. And, uh, and being staying productive as you're driving. So that's a really, really good safety feature. All right, um, so your apps is not installed on this particular thing. And I'm not sure if that's something that you can add, if the dealer can add that for you if you really wanted to, like a navigation and stuff. But as of it sits right now, it does not have it. All right, so let's go look down here. And this is your climate control buttons, very simple where you want the air to blow, the fan speed, and the temperature. That's all you have to look at. I mean, it's not not anything complicated there. And that's what, you know, that's what you, not everybody wants complicated stuff. So here is the Bluetooth, I mean the USB and auxiliary input for the radio. So not only do you, you have the ability to play through the Bluetooth system, but also you can plug in a flash drive there and play music right off of that. You can put thousands of songs on there. And also an auxiliary input for any any pretty much anything that plays audio, um, you can put it in there. You do have a 12 volt power supply there on the left. You have some cup holders and a little storage pocket there for you know everybody needs cup holders while they're driving. That's actually a safety feature I think too because you don't want to be fumbling around with your coffee as you're driving. You want to have a nice, comfortable, uh, easy place to put it. Um, you know, so that's another safety feature. Okay, so here's your shifter, and it's kind of like a labyrinth, I guess, going down all these different steps. But putting in reverse, this one in particular does not have a backup camera, so nothing like that pops up. But you go down here to neutral, then drive. Actually, the drive is right here, and this is what I wanted to point out. Um, it's real easy to just accidentally put it in third gear by you know just putting it down. So you want to make sure that when your drive position is there to the right, because um, if you want to downshift, you can go down to third, second, and then first. It is a four speed transmission. So there's first, second, third, and then that's all your, that'll cycle through all your gears there.
and you know if you're going down a steep hill or something it is handy to downshift that's why they have that but just make sure that um you know when you drive the car you just put it in drive and not actually third gear because you will probably get some bad gas mileage and you know not very good go, go as fast as you can all right so here's your parking brake pretty uh standard you know just jerk it up and there is a this vehicle has traction control and it will automatically turn on when you hit when you turn on the vehicle but if you ever get stuck in the snow or sand or you know mud or whatever you can always turn that feature off if you need to spin tires and then basically it's not going to allow you to spin tires with it on so that's the ability to turn it off then you got some quick access uh, storage pocket there that's a really good spot to put a phone it looks like and then you got this massive cup holder there for the for anybody in the front or the back can reach that one all right let's take a look at the rear view mirror it does have the day and night mode the standard manual flippy thing and you have some lights up here quick access lights and you can make them to where they turn all on with this button here the center position is only for if you want them to turn on with the door open and then turning them off uh, well even with the door open they won't turn on all right and you do in the visors you do have mirrors that slide open on both sides you do have airbags all the way around side curtain airbags and you know all kinds of airbags so let's take it take a look at the visibility out of the back window Alrighty, so there you have it, 2015 Toyota Yaris, and let me know what you think of this vehicle. If it's something that you have experienced driving, maybe you own one, or you took one for a test drive, or you're thinking about buying one, uh, let us know your experience in the, in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it, and I'm sure other people will too. And so I appreciate you watching, and thank you for your time, and thank you to Sparks Toyota in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for allowing me to show off this car. I do not work for Sparks Toyota. Um, I'm just doing this for you. I actually work for you. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.